Hey, you beautiful, awesome people, and welcome to the Door of Darkness, my sanctuary that's so simple and clean. It is no other than Kingdom Hearts 3, and it is actually very surprising that I have not played this yet, so it's a first impression, but it's been out for quite a while, I will say that, so this is more going to be like a first-time reaction to this game, considering I have never played this game. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, I have been itching to play it. I've actually owned this game for about a month or two now, and I still have not played it, so... Why I'm doing it now is because Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC Remind has just been announced for next month, I do believe, in January or something like that. And it sounds so hype! You get to play as Kairi. Kairi of all people, who's always been like the Mary Sue of this series. She has done basically zip zilch nothing to my knowledge. Then again, this is coming from someone who's only played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and I've only taken a small glimpse at some of the side games that have, have come out over the years, whether it be on DS, PSP, and all that. So I'm kind of not a connoisseur of Kingdom Hearts, but I have played at least 1 and 2 and can appreciate the series for as convoluted as it is. So, I think I got some stuff when I bought Kingdom Hearts 3. I did buy it at a massive discount, which was really nice at the time. And as I said, I, I can't remember when I bought this game. It could have been back in October or something like that. So, I don't know what the shenanigans were there. So, I, I've, I've unlocked Dawn till Dusk. Uh, so, this item will be added, automatically added. The Memory Archive has been unlocked on the title screen. No idea what that means. Critical mode has been added. Oh, I actually did add critical mode, which is the hardest mode that you can play in Kingdom Hearts in regards to difficulty. And we're finally through all that. Alright, so I got a before you stream. So this game is a copyrighted work. Uh, yeah, 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 the copyright stuff. Fun. Uh, you are free to stream this game in a non-commercial context. However, using streams of the game to primary right or listen to the music is prohibited in such non-commercial. Okay, the basic shenanigans I actually was going to explain before I started this, which is basically, I can't show the opening. So, if you have not played Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, I do believe the opening for Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of puts it into context. With some reminder of what happened in Con Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Although if you have not played them, then this is not going to make any sense whatsoever. I am probably going to be a little bit confused here and there because I haven't played... Uh, is it like Birth Before Sleep? I think it is. And Dream Drop, uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. And there was a couple of other spin-offs on the DS that I have not played. So it's probably not going to make as much sense to me. As much as Kingdom Hearts 2 kind of didn't make sense to me at the beginning, then... After learning the lore and all that, it kind of made more sense. So there might be some stuff that will be edited in post-editing, depending on like how much YouTube wants to kick me in the ass for this. Um, if they want to kick me in the ass for the internal thing, that I've been talking to myself the entire time. Alright, so I think without further ado, I think it's just best to jump into it. But as I said, the opening cinematic, which is normally the music video that kind of opens up the whole time thing with a bit of a... Uh, reminiscent on what's already happened to the series will be completely cut. So if you want to see that, you might need to go check on other areas of YouTube. So without further ado, let's actually... Uh, I might just go standard mode because I'm not exactly like new to Kingdom Hearts. As I said, I have done 1 and 2 already and I've done them on... Rel I think I've done them on Proud but not Critical. So I'll go standard mode. And if I've got to drop it down, then so be it. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, you can normally adjust that. So yeah, I might have to skip this part, so I'll see you guys at the part where I don't have to skip. Oh my god, that was hype! Alright, so there was a lot that I had to skip out there, and just generally, a lot of it was... I left out because I didn't know what to say, because I actually didn't know what was going on, because I think... The very first part of it before the, the actual music video played was related to a mobile game of Kingdom Hearts, which I played a minute about, something about the Lost Masters and the Kingdom uh, King Keyblade War, which was mentioned in Kingdom Hearts 2 at the very end with the secret ending, and then would have been featured in Birth by Sleep and all that. Oh my god! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts has always been good for visuals. I will mention that even back in the PS2 classics with Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. 
my god, this game is so beautiful to look at. The music video was breathtaking. The metaphors used in that music video, I am so sorry I could not include it. But if you have a chance to look at it, go watch it. It is beautiful. It's stunning to watch. I mean, the music's not up to my taste. It's a little bit different for sure compared to Sanctuary and Simple and Clean, the previous two it openings for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 respectively. But oh lord, that was good! <laughs> Alright, so that's hype. And as I said, I'm generally interested to learn more about the lore. Or at least catch up with the lore for this game, considering, as I said, it's so convoluted because it's in so many spin-off games and all that. The spin-off games actually do make a difference, so they're not just like, oh, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and all that. They're, like, just there on the side for a little bit of extra content to play. No, they actually do make a difference to the overall arcing story, which is annoying for people like me who don't really like Chain of Memory and all that because it means I had to you know, bite the bullet and actually actually play it, even though I hate the game so much. Alright, so anyways, this is the tutorial stage. It's always in the beautiful music of Dive. I think it's like Dive Into The Heart. I think the soundtrack, uh, sorry, the track is called. It's absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my favourite songs in the overarching OST for this game. So, moving around is pretty simple. You just use the left analog stick. At the moment, we are currently playing as young Sora from Kingdom Hearts 1. Jump, of course, is circle, and he's still kind of got that little bit of floatish jump to him, so it's not quite as weighted as I would like, which has always been kind of an issue with me in the past, because you kind of go to jump, and because of how floaty Sora is, he kind of doesn't land where you kind of want him to be, but you can do really weird maneuvers with jumping as well, so it's a pro and con at the same time. When a green situation command appears above Sora's head, you press the uh, sir, uh, sorry, the triangle, I can't say my shapes today apparently, um, to perform a special action. What this can be door opening, could be talking to people, um, it could be just plain examining things like this for example. So in this case, it's kind of a metaphor of Sora transitioning into his mature Kingdom Hearts 2 form at this point. So we've gone from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2, and this is kind of where the whole overarching law comes. So now we get a, a well, I think the looking, is it the looking mirror? The magic mirror that you see in like the Disney movies all coming into play here where you see into Sora's pass. The Riku and Sora battle from Kingdom Hearts 1 near the finale there over in Hollow Bastion. Then we've got the uh, sealing of the door of darkness in Kingdom Hearts 1 at the very end. I'm so sorry too if you haven't played and this is kind of spoily. Though they kind of are out of context, so you wouldn't really know what's going on. You got the first meeting of the gang in Kingdom Hearts 1 at Traverse Town. What do you desire? What do I desire? That's a question that I ask every day. Do I choose wisdom? Do I choose vi vitality? Or do I choose balance? Oh my lord, I know wisdom's MP. Vitality would be HP. Balance? Maybe that's balanced stats. Vitality would be more defensive and wisdom more magically. I know I'm gonna get comments in the comment section below saying, No, Crimson, you're wrong! It's alright, I've been wrong for a couple of generations now, so it's all good. I think I might just go balanced for this playthrough. And then when people do tell me when I'm wrong and give me the correct answers, I think for my official playthrough, I'll go through... I wasn't actually reading. Um, I'll go through and actually choose the right one. So because I don't go automatically into it, a body of mind of equal merit and equal positioning... Uh, potential positioning? Good job, dyslexia! That's definitely not the word! Alright, so that is kind of what I thought. Balanced stats and everything. Vitality, a rugged body that will endure even the toughest of challenges. That's more situated towards HP and defense, I would say. And Wisdom would be more MP orientated. That will grant you Mastery of Wondrous Power. Actually, I might even just go for MP because that tends to go towards AP as well. Which is your ability power to use like different abilities and all that. So that sounds about right. As I said, if I am wrong, please correct me in the comment section below. I tend to always get these wrong. I think Kingdom Hearts 1 is the only one that I know off the top of my head. Kingdom Hearts 2, I think I might know if I looked at it again. But because this is brand new, I'm doing this blind, I would not have a clue what they're actually aiming at. So this is Kingdom Hearts 2, Meeting of Naomi. I think that... I don't think that was Kingdom Hearts 2, actually. I think that may have been one of the spin-off series. That's Dream Drop, 
dream dop drop distance. That alliteration there really screwed me over. What power do you seek? I seek the power to be good at video games. Is that one of the options here? The Guardian? The War... Okay, this is what um, our thing is here. So, Mystic, Magic, Warrior, Attack, and Guardian. Let it be Defense. Similar to that of the Sword, Shield, and the Wand in Kingdom Hearts 1. If I can put that into any type of perspective for those who have played some of the older games. The power of the warrior, incredible courage, is this the power you seek? I will go have a look at the other ones just to double check, but I'm pretty sure this, that's what they're going towards. The power of the mystic, inner strength. Oh, lame. Come on, they're normally like elaborate with all their dialogue with this. This is a little bit of the shorter's end. The power of the guardian, kindness to aid friends. And very vague while it's at it too. Whereas in, I think in Kingdom Hearts 1 they made it pretty straightforward that you'd be you know, going for shield, you'd be upping your defense, but you would give up something in return with the second choice, too. Yeah. Going for the warrior. It's raising my strength. I think that gives you a plus one at the start. And then, if I'm correct in my prediction here, the next one should be, what do we give up? Yes. I'm uh, pretty sure that's who I am. I seek power, but I'm also... I forgot the very first choice already. I've got the memory of a goldfish. It's so overwhelming. They actually didn't ask us to give up something, so maybe the first option may have had something to do with that. Or that first one actually may have had something to do with experience gain. That tends to be another option that you get is how quick do you gain experience and your answer will affect that. Oh, this is very reminiscent of the opening of the Kingdom Hearts 1. Where Riku's standing in the wave there and Sora's chasing after him going, No! And then the wave just blows him over. God, I'm getting nostalgic vibes at the moment. Oh, that is pretty. That, that, that looks nice. I mean, it looked nice back in the PS2 era, as I said, but that... Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Dude, that, that vista is nice. I could eat that. Combat basics. Okay, X to attack. And then squared. Oh, do we get blocked straight away? <gasps> do we get blocked straight away? Oh my god. Lock onto enemies with R1. You can cycle with R2. Attacking. Uh, oh wait. Oh, we're going through. Okay, close. Dude, we get block and dodge roll straight off the bat. You only got to level up for that! Ah! Oh, welcome! That with open, um, open arms! Ah, this looks so gorgeous! I could eat it! I could hang this on my wall! This is so beautiful! Alright, well, visual is definitely 10 out of a 10, but as I said, Kingdom Hearts has always been gorgeous visually! And even, like, the audio sound is always beautiful. This, oh god, terrible, terrible. Well, this monster's always been in each of the Kingdom Hearts games. Alright, how good is Sora's air co combos at the start? Okay, I'm a little bit rusty, but I haven't played Kingdom Hearts for a little while. I think it's been about well over a year since I last touched Kingdom Hearts. Alright, so... Uh, actually, I'm going to look off there. Uh, wait, do I have... To? Okay, let's go. So, I don't remember having to just focus on that hand. Right, Sora's pretty versatile for level 1, that's for sure. Like, normally he's not as versatile, but his air combos and all that are pretty decent at level 1, which means... I mean, it's kind of good, because it shows that Sora has matured, considering this is the third game, and God knows how many adventures he's been on now. Oh, God. Oh, am I stunned? Well, that's new. Well, it's new from my experience, but it's not to say that one of the other Kingdom Hearts have explored that. I would like to win this and not die, so that'd be like nice early experience. If I would land, that'd be great. I mean, the air combos are well. Normally, they get quite impressive. Oh god, I should probably be blocking. Okay, it's ah. Okay, I just generally forgot how to block there for a second. I should just be able to win this if I just focus, but I should have been blocking. Because I think if I block them, I got fire and water already. So we got dodge and dodge roll like really early. And then fire and water straight off the bat. 
Right, so we're getting right into the meat and grit here. Um, help me to remember, teach me how to fight. I'm pretty sure that's just going back over the tutorial, so I'm just going to say good for now. I'm just really rusty. If you get stuck, you can try to chores whenever you like by selecting chores from the title screen. That's pretty handy, actually, considering there are times I walk away from a game for a year and come back and be like, I forgot how to play. So that's nice. I really like that. Any anything with like ta tutorials on the fly is really nice. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now. From their slumber, we have discussed this before, Sora. Mm. Your mark of mastery exam was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. However, the darkness nearly took control of you, and your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. <gasps> Furthermore, Xehanort nearly made you his vessel, and in the Ooh. process stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. I suspect you have already noticed this, correct? But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power, the power of waking which you failed to master during your exam. There's someone who lost his strength and found it again. A true hero oh. to whom you ought to pay a visit. Riku! Point you in the right mm. direction. Four. <laughs> Got it. Hmm. You can count on us to take care of Sora. I would have it no other way. I put Sora in your hands. Oh, this is gonna be lots of fun! It's not a vacation. <laughs> Let's go! Down on us! Oh lord, you can tell how long the hiatus between Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 was because the more, the poor VA for Sora is all grown up now. Sounds a little bit awkward, but it does suit. I will say that, because as I said, by this point, Sora would have matured by a lot. How are we supposed to get there now? What? I thought you knew. Looks like all the old highways are closed. Didn't Master Yen Sid say that Sora should trust the guidance his heart gives? Come on, Sora. Which way? Um... Hey, would you get serious? Give me a break. I'm trying. These things take time. <sighs> Well, since we've already been before, why don't you try picturing our friends like we're there? Hmm. Wow. Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? Uh. May your heart hmm? be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen Sid always said that, right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Really? Ring a bell? Uh -uh. Maybe I just imagined it. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> I've got it! Brings out that cable. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> All right. All right. Olympus Coliseum, here we come. All right, I'm a little bit confused why they couldn't use the gummy straight off the bat. That's a little bit new to me. All right, I'll fill in 2.9. Hello. I thought this would keep the last three. All right, I'm a little. I said I'm a little bit confused at the moment. Unless we're going back a little bit. Uh, at the moment we're right at the end of. Dream drop distance, I do believe, where at Sora's long last, the time had come. has just found out the that he's failed his Keyblade Mastery alignment. test. Riku passed, though. Plan Spoilers. The devised 18 years ago was about to reach fruition. The fates had predicted this very future, the day he would seize control of Olympus and rule over all the cosmos. Hades' previous attempts using Terra, Cloud, 
and Orin to advance his plans for conquest had failed. The hour was not yet right. But now the planets were aligned, and nothing could possibly go wrong. A wave of darkness slants down from their celestial rank. And one by one, Hades freed the Titans from their prison. Some of them, the same monstrosities that Sora and his friends had already fought and bested before. But both the Titans and his longing for vengeance against Zeus reinvigorated. Hades began his attack on Olympus. All right, that was interesting. So one thing that Kingdom Hearts 3 has kind of done with their loading screens, instead of just being like the rotating heart, is they've now got Instagram-esque type of things going on here. So loading, loading, loading. Loading should be relatively quick because it is the PS4, uh, PS Pro I'm playing on at the moment. So that's cool. All right, so we... Okay, I do remember this from like all the trailers too. So Olympus Coliseum isn't like it was in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Where it was just like going into the stadium and doing fights. We actually do get to traverse um, this area which is <gasps> about... Oh wait, no, I lie. Um, in Kingdom Hearts 2 you could traverse but you had to traverse like the underworld. Whereas this time we're actually traversing like above world. Which as I said was... It's welcome. It means I actually again. get to look Sorry. around a bit more. We'll find him, but we need to go. Up the mountain. Yeah, up is the usual direction. <laughs> no, you can go down a mountain. Well, never hurts to have your head in the clouds. Good old, good boy, Goofy. <laughs> exactly. Donald shouldn't really say anything because when he goes to cure, he cures you at full health unless you have the right settings on and you always die in the end because of it. I think from memory he was a little bit better in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, but I do recall Kingdom Hearts 1, like he was dreadfully bad. Oh, dreadfully bad. Oh my god, the Heartless looks so good now. Like they look really fleshed out now. Casting magic, so we can do it from the D-pad. Oh yeah, so use to select Magicka. Okay, I thought it was a little bit different, but the same menu from the previous games is still here. Uh, magic to place the MP gauge. If it runs out, it will automatically begin recharging over time. You can speed up casting by assigning shortcuts. All right, it's basically the same as the previous ones, which is good. I haven't got anything auto-assigned at the moment. I can't do that until I get the next menu, which I can't do during battle. So I wonder if we have to... I've got fire. Okay, fire feels really good. Like, I can kind of see that being comboed really well. Because it's kind of like you can... Oh, all right. Well, the big boys look really... Oh, really good now. Oh, can I not come out of those still? So before... Oh, man, I think you need an ability for that. You press the circle while you hit, and then Sora kind of jumps out of it. What about water? Oh, water's a little bit different now. Actually, no, I've never had water. What am I talking about? I'm thinking ice. Like, a uh, blizzard, sorry. So water's new. All right, um, defense increase. I think we got a HP increase out of that too. So opening the uh, main menu button with the options, equipped items refined. I didn't want items, I want to customize. I want shortcut. So I think with shortcut is like R2 or something like that to bring it up. I'm just going to set fire and water there. Uh, stick by sword. Okay, here's all the commands. Use in emergencies. On self. Off. On others. Off. Mainly on me. Abilities go wild. Watch MP. Conserve. Watch MP. Be by yourself. Hands off. Yep, stick by there. Alright, and then use in emergencies. Take them, go wild, watch MP, because then that way they can kind of, okay, I don't think, okay, we're good there, items, what about abilities, what have we got? Okay, we've got quite a lot already, zero, oh, okay, so zero XP is still around, that makes it so you can um, do a level one run, scans on and everything, these are, uh, a lot of these abilities you get like, 
later on in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, so it's definitely a welcomed pleasure to see these at the start, so that's good. I'm pretty good there for, like, a lot of options. Oh! Oh yeah, we can like parkour up things. So while moving with the left analog stick, you'll automatically climb up small ledges and up across narrow footholds. You don't need to make the jumps yourself. Hit a dead end, don't give up. You can run up walls that are faintly glowing. So if we parkour up like that, hey, a little bit of extra mobility now. So it, it kind of makes traversing levels a little bit more interesting now because before it's just, you know, walk along, along flat land getting from point A to point B, but this time round you can probably do some pretty interesting maneuvers to get yourself from point A to point B. And plus it means you don't need to do like a, a, uh, I was just trying to think, levels that go like, just in like one direction I off in one way, we can go circles. like up and down and hmm. side to side a lot more Surely. easier now with game um, game design, so it gives them a lot more the options rock? too. Hey, Hercules! Where are you? What the? Oh no, that's the... I was like, what in the world? How did this, like, mountain form out of the clouds? Never mind, it's a title opening screen. That's how goddamn realistic that was. God damn! Well, Olympus does look really nice. So now the question is, what's that? Heartless? Oh. Oh. All right. I know I dotted my eyes, crossed my T's, zeroed the hero. So what gives? Who could possibly be trying to give me a migraine by yodeling that yutz's name? <laughs> Good old Hades. Oh, no. Really? Hades? <sighs> ah, it's just you. Maybe. It's just us? Even for you, that's cold. Don't forget. I can always turn up the heat. Wait. If Hades is here, then where's her? What is everyone's If Hades is here, where are, are the heartless? He used to be on the bad mind. side. Never mind. I'm cool. I'm good. Because Wonder Boy will be out of my hair soon enough. So you're up to no good again. Of course he is. You bet. Oh, easy. What is this, Sparta? Kind of on a schedule. Don't have time to toss around the old fire and brimstone. The whole cosmos is basically waiting for me to, you know, conquer it. Well, this is interesting. Poor Hades. He thinks he can actually pull it off this time. Where are my titans? Show me your power! Oh no. Not like the Rock Titan or the Ice Titan. I do remember them. Oh, oh no, it's the Rock Titan. <laughs> well, Hades doesn't need a crusher, so he can just... Oh, that's... The Ice Titan, maybe? If that's a blizzard? Are we seriously going into a big Titan fight now? That they're normally optional bosses. Oh, never mind. No boss fight. We're just gonna get blown away. Ah, that's what I'm sailing. <laughs> well, it looks like Hades is blowing a bit more. Of an oof this time and instead of blowing smoke like he normally does. Sailing right to where I left. Ah, no biggie. biggie. But yeah, that I looks like the Rock boys. Titan. So, back to the whole cosmic coup thing. Still it's interesting, like normally if you see Hades, it's like I would have thought we'd be fighting him. And uh. Really? Are you kidding? Jeez, I Louise. thought she might Seriously. be around. When it rains, it pours. Okay, who's the new pest? Hey, now, oh, yep. No, it's Maleficent and Pete. So they're still around. I was going to say Hades was associated ah, with them. Perfect. So now the, I gotta put up the that association still continuing. Funny, I don't remember you doing me any memorable favors. So, you can keep your heartless this time. I'm going back to my original plan, all right? So, toodaloo! <laughs> Exits that away! Hey, it was great seeing ya! Happy trails! 
We are not here for you. I have my own business to attend to. All I need to know is if there is a distinctive black box somewhere in this world. Black box, huh? Hmm. Black box, black box, black box. Hmm. Wait. Don't tell me. You're after the one Zeus hit on Earth? Possibly. If I were, where might it be? Alright, that was interesting. I'm not sure it's my headphones causing that. But Melissa Maleficent's voice had a little bit of a weird sound to it. Like during recording, if you use like low quality recording stuff, it has a little bit of a weird hiss to it. I said I'm not sure if it's my headphones causing that. It might just be perfectly fine. Wow, okay. That's that's nice. Phew. Do we get to explore it though? That's another question. Hmm? Oh, he See, forgot the duck. Yeah, I guess this counts. That's right. Leave Donald behind. Just a second. It's all right, Donald. We wouldn't miss you anyway unless you start healing me properly. You guys are here. Sora, Donald, Goofy. You literally dropped in. Gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Like the catch. Yeah. Thanks, Herc. But what's going on? <sighs> Take a guess. Starts with an H. Ah, I get the picture. Actually, we bumped into the h on the way here. <laughs> he said something about conquering the whole cosmos. All of it, huh? Nice of him to show a little self-restraint. Well, whatever he's planning, I'll send him running back across the sticks. <laughs> That's our Herc. All right, that was interesting dialogue to say the least. Oh my god. All right, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of a cut here because my dog keeps barking at god knows what she is. So I'm going to deal with her and I'll come back. Right, the puppies all settled down. So we get introduced to save points here and the Moogle shop. So if shop's a shop, you can just go through and buy um, items and all that. Save for... Uh, saving like your game and all that and they often create save points as well and some warps. Whoa, I haven't put my glasses on properly. So warp, um, warping for like the gummy ship and all that but at the moment that one doesn't have access to it. What does the shop have for us? We can sell he workshop? Oh yeah, the synthesis um, synth synchronizing items and all that. So tent oh, we can buy tents? That's I think I'm not sure about the spin-off games, but for the main series, that's a new one. Normally you gotta like make those. Panacea. It removes all negative effects from teammates. Oh, so is that for like stun and all that, I wonder? Okay, that's neat. Potions. Alright, that's pretty neat. Alright, so we can run up. Oh, well, it says we can run up. Except I can't, so maybe that's for something else. Okay, yeah, it's not letting me run up that. Oh, okay, it was a loading screen. Never mind. It's another cutscene. So, Sora, is there a reason you guys are visiting? I'm guessing it's not just for the cheese and olives. Oh, yeah. It sounds like somebody forgot. Black Sora. I just took my time remembering. Did it really take that long for, like, Gran Turismo to like update? Ask Interesting. <laughs> ask me? Yeah. Do you remember the last time we were together? You were feeling down and out. How'd you get your strength back? When you jumped in and saved Meg? Huh. That's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart, but... It's not like I could tell you how. Oh, man. What's wrong? All my strength is gone from me, too. 
That's why I need you. Because I was hoping you might have a solution or something. I'm sorry, Sora. Mm. That's heartless? Oh, okay, the fire element heartless. And down timber! Okay, these are interesting. Let's talk later. Right. I have water Once equipped, so that might help guys. with these guys. So at the moment we're trying to figure out, well Sora's trying to figure out uh, flow motion. What's this? If you tilt the left analog in midair and press uh, the square to air slide towards walls and poles, you can trigger special moves known as flow motion. While the square while in a uh, press square while in flow motion, do a super side that lets you quickly traverse great distances. You can also press X while in flow motion to perform powerful flow motion attacks. Oh, that's what that glowing thing was. So I can go around this. Was it? I think I missed. Did I miss something? Oh, like that. Oh, not in the fire though. Oh, like that. That's kind of cool. So you got like both being able to walk up them. Okay, what is triangle? I forgot I said to that. Alright, just gonna water these. Got a blazing shard from one of them. I think like it wanted you to try and do like flow motion around there. I think you gotta press and hold, because before I just pressed it and I went flying off into the distance. I'm out all out of MP, so I'm recharging at the moment. Ow! Alright, go in and do that. Alright, MP's back. Take them out. I should have not too many left. Who's left? There we go. My water took it out. MP haste on Donald and Hercule went to level 3. Alright, so at the moment it's kind of tutorial-esque. Everything's just like stop and start. Hercules! Hopefully that stops after the tutorial. Most times it does and afterwards it's just hands-on. Okay. So, Meg. normally as I said, this is like the Battle Royale oh, level, so but fun. now this is the tutorial-esque no, level. Not with the Heartless involved. I'm sensing a boss popping up. up now, so we've well, got like what do you know? most Sorry, of it. I think I'm Donald. sure we've got most of our mechanics <laughs> left out. If there's yes, any I left, and they'll go into that, then we'll have a boss battle. Meg, you need to stay someplace safe. We'll search the city and make sure everyone manages to get clear. And plus, of the it was fire. also foreboded a little careful. bit earlier that a boss would appear. I will. So, you guys in? Of course, we're in. We are heroes. Mm-hmm. Break a leg then. Not literally. Heroes. Mm. Phil, you should go with Meg. I didn't say anything quirky. Or could I not get the voice actor for him this time? This just you might be why he's gonna safe. say start silent. Hey, mm -hmm. I hear a voice. From which way? Over that way. Well, this is probably what leads us into our mm -hmm. boss. As in, I, it just smells a boss Help at the moment. <gasps> oh no, there's a little girl caught in the fire. That means Let's Hercules go. didn't do his job properly. Hey, running's too slow. Uh, then what's the other choice? Hmm. I pick up a boulder, you, or, or that, that, and you step on the back of it. I knew that was going to happen. I was like, with Hercules, you can always make some type of unique so. travel since he's got superhuman like strength. This. That's good. Now hold on tight. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe we should uh, rethink I think this. This is a good idea. If you can't find a plane, you just make a plane. Not again. Now where are we? 
I just love how they like suddenly rescued that person, had a safe landing yeah. and everything. No problem. And all is well. We better check and see if anyone else needs us. What? I would have preferred that to be played out rather than a cutscene, well, though. If it isn't Sora and the King's pawns. Huh? <gasps> Maleficent! Pete! Are you the reason the Heartless are here? Certainly not. Say, Maleficent, I don't know about his sidekicks, but Kid Keyblader here looks way putier than the last time we saw him. <laughs> oh. I say we finish him off while we still can. <laughs> How did Pete no sense that, the though? Boy. He's inconsequential. We have a far more So unless something happened in one of the previous to. games, or he's got a real good sixth sense, oh, I'm curious as to how to Pete that knew that. Fox. Be silent, you fool! Now Pete and his big mouth. As for you three, we shall meet But what's this black box? When I have time for such trifles. Yeah, and you better get your act together before then. Later, twerps. Wait! Well, when you got Pete saying that, you know you've screwed up oh. somewhere. <sighs> so hopefully they explain this black box. It's fine. I can take it. Gorge, it sure don't sound like it. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? Oh, did your it's feelings fine. get hurt? I can take it. You're gonna get stronger. We know you. You can take it. Don't say that. Oh my god, what oh, is this dialogue? He said. Alright, the dialogue could be for like better or worse, but yeah, um, a little bit iffy on that dialogue. Uh, I might actually save. As I said, I might continue on with this afterwards just so I can play ahead and talk about what I thought of it afterwards. But yeah, at the moment, I'm a little bit iffy about the dialogue choice. That was kind of not needed in a way, like they really dragged that on. Oh, they could have done that in a much better way. All right, we got the oh, we got these guys again. I know I keep going L two for my magic. All right, is there anything I can use a flow motion on here? Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll take these out the other way. All right, using they, they look like they lock on to whatever I'm locked on to, so that's handy. Then these should be weak to water. All right, I'm all out of MP. I should have got rid of a lot of them. And then picking up those orbs too does, oh, recover my HP. And not my HP, well, it does, the green orbs do. The blue ones will recover MP. So I nearly recharged there on MP. That does it. And then boom. And then use water to finish these guys off. Right, grew to level three in the process there. And there we go. Couple of blazing shards there, which we can use to synchronize for items there. And that tends to be an achievement in, in its own too. Ouch! That's smart. Let's walk into fire. I'm glad somebody has brains. Fellas, I just got a crazy idea. The shield! <laughs> Alright, so during your travel, Sora's friends may call for team attack. If you see a green team command appear above the command menu, use triangle to use it. Some team attacks are useful for exploration while others deal a punishing blow. So in this case, we can use a Trinity Sled and then go through here and like, oh okay we have to use it on like just those fire things so we can't like abuse it and go like fast across the terrain that's ah I kind of wish they utilized that for that because that would make for some pretty interesting travel stuff and some good uh, movement techniques too and it's something I oh they were actually enemies I was like I saw a chest and some pots I'm like I'll oh, just you know attack these pots and get some Stuff out of it, some money or any whatnot. Nope, they're enemies. AP boost. Oh, okay, interesting. AP boost straight off the bat. Oh, whoops. Uh, 
use that on Sora. Did I actually learn anything in the process? Uh, abilities, Sora. I think I'm pretty sure I did. It was like treasure. Okay, I got combo plus. Uh, I need four, but I can't use that at the moment. Treasure magnet, I don't want to use... I'm not really too sure what to get rid of at the moment. Because I'm not familiar with like a lot of those abilities, but normally I'd get rid of something there to utilize combo plus, which should give me like extra aerial and ground combos. I'm guessing I go down here. Alright. Ah, didn't mean to use that. Uh, circle. Use fire on these ones. It looked like I might have some flow motion. I was going to say, that looks like more for running. Take out the flying one there. Is there anyone else? Might be a stuff I actually lock onto them. You can really pull off some interesting tech. Oh, I melt lev. Is that actually... Oh, that's cool. So, a little extra bonus of using um, fire is that actually does leave a little bit of a... Ch oh, there was some flow motion here. Okay, that's cool. We can also use that to, like, uh, as a magnet to kind of put them in as a group, too, so that you can fire, uh, follow it up with, like, fire and all that. Wellspring Shard. And then you just do that, because I kind of had them on, like, low health, and if I went for fire instead of water, yeah, just finish them off like that. Sometimes this also doesn't auto-lock on either, so... You gotta be careful when you actually go to use magic that you're actually locked on to uh, what you want to actually fire. I was trying to like be really clever, but it didn't work. So Trinity Sled again. Uh, was I meant to go this way? Because there was another way I could have gone, but I wasn't too sure. Okay. Whoa. Um. I'm assuming I was meant to jump onto something there, but I didn't see it because I was moving. Oh, okay. I think I've got to go this way because I tried to turn there and it didn't quite let me. What's... I was going to say, there's something up here. Oh, okay, so it, I thought that might be like a collectible or something, but nope. Just a little Easter egg or something. Hmm. Or if I gotta do... I wonder if you meant to like run up. Maybe not. I could be overthinking that. Right, I wanted to turn that way. I'm still really disappointed though, you can't continue using the Trinity Sled outside of like hot areas of like that. Okay, we're in the gardens now. Alright, let's deal with these Heartless. And save this poor person before she becomes a Heartless. I've got a little bit of MP left, so I might as well use that on water. Because we're all in like a really enclosed area, so water tends to work better there by the looks of it. I got an onion. Oh no. Uh, crafting of some sort, so I hope not. There you go. I do remember there was a meme of like, hey, we could use this ingredient for something. I do re recall a lot of memes based on that. Another save area. Uh, okay. I mean, as I said, later down the track, if we get the ability to tra uh, traverse or travel back with the gummy ship, that'd be great. At the moment though, there's like a huge abundance of it. Although, from previous experience with this game, save points tend to mean something big's around the corner. So what exactly is waiting for us around the corner? A couple of heartless at the moment, that's about it. Someone help! Where did all these monsters come from? You can Where also skip these leave? two if you press like the, um, Start but all the options button. I thought I might just throw that oh, out no. there. So it is a welcomed 
Welcome to any game that have the ability to cut, uh, skip cutscenes. Normally for a first playthrough, I will watch them. But in replays, I'll always skip them. No retort there from Sora, it's just straight to the point. You also can't spam that either. Oh yes, yeah, so this is one of the team things. Okay, that did a big bang. So, so you do like four of them, like you do a couple of like moving and then uh, Sora then has to stop to launch like I guess a final or a bigger attack. Maximum HP also increased out of that too. Thank you, you're so kind. Keep training and one day you'll be great heroes <laughs> just like Hercules. <laughs> Keep training? Is it that obvious? Well, yes. you kind of... Hey. Puny like well, I me. Think we all have a ways to go. There's no muscle. We'll there together. Yeah, we will. Keep searching. Might be more people in trouble. I say normally with stuff like that happens, you just attack and then either they reveal secrets or. Or well, they reveal. We can get through now. Oh. Or that. I I don't see the point. Oh no, there was a point, an item. I was like, I I don't see the point to that. Then I just realised, oh yeah, there was an item back there. So yeah, that'll be the only way to get it. All right, now we seem to be getting to the action. Something's causing that, and we're gonna run towards it. Whoa, what was that? Oh, okay. Fun. That really doesn't fill me with joy knowing that. Because if you are going to go for a completionist run, it means you got to collect all those items and potentially craft all of that. Oh well. Ah. Oh, I love that. So if you if you get hit by like that, Sora actually. Oh, can I get out of here? Or do I just run up the wall? Okay, I'll just do that if you get stuck. All right, we're out of there. Okay, so Sora at least has some type of cartoonish, comical, um, getting damaged by, like, you know, heat, hot, fire. So that's good. I didn't just make him go, ouch, 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 or just black, vo um, void out or anything like that. So you do get a chance to recover from that. And it's just, you know, how some games just make it so you just static. Um, and then it's like, just ouch, 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 or ch -ch 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 -ch. Something to like tell, like some type of sound effect to say that you're getting hit. This one actually responds to it in a more human way. And well, in this case, more Disney esque type of way. I should be using flow motion a few more, a bit more, because I know I can use it here. Back over here. So, yeah, so it vacuums them in. I should have also. Oh, I just got that in. Oh, dude! Oh, I reckon that's gonna be strong. How much damage did that do overall? So, I'm just abusing these. These look really strong. If you can vacuum them all into one area and then pull off one of the team attacks, that looks like it does a ton of damage. Oh, where am I going? Alright, see? So oh, what the? What was that? I got launched into the air by something. Alright, where am I going? Because I've generally forgotten which way I went. Alright, we've been that way, so up this way. I would like to at least get to the end of this level to kind of like end off the review. So more little statues there. I wonder if every level has them, because I generally would think if they had something like, you know, little easter eggs hanging, nicking around the level and all that they would have some type of relevance. I guess not. Alright, let's take these out. Is there a flow motion? Yep. 
and then just follow it up with a water. Right, that's nice. I do like that because it also, as I said, it does vacuum it. Whoops. It does vacuum it in. Like that. And then flip the shit up with a combo extender of water. So water acts like more of a combo extender. Air combo plus, that's going to be nice. I'm all out of MP, so I can't follow up with any more combos there. And some enemies do require you to finish them off with like a extended combo or finisher. So magic acts as a finisher and certain like, okay, I'm not going anymore that way. And certain parts of your combo are finishers. So there's ways of like minimizing combos so you just go straight to a finisher. Finishers obviously do more damage. Oh, okay, I thought that was Trinity Shield. Uh, it's not Trinity Shield, Trinity Sled. So through this way. It's very tight on the steering, that's for sure. Ether, that's nice. That's a good item. Oh. And some collectibles. Uh, this way? Oh. Did I take damage because of that? Right up this way. Slide up here. Right, I think we're in a different part of the map. It's... Alright, cool. As long as enemies spawn, I know I'm in a different part of the map. That's the easiest way, is to um, see enemies spawn, yet you're in a different area. If enemies aren't spawning, then you're still kind of in the same area. I actually quite like um, water, but... Oh. I was like, I like water for magic, but fire does also have its uses too. As I said, um, elemental resistance and all that would come into play. Though for most of this level, it looks like water has been more effective. Alright, now the cutscene. Oh, oh. Hurry. Well, this is bad. Oh, come on, you could lift up a massive statue earlier, but all of a sudden you can't... Oh, okay, maybe. That's a, that's a lot of weight. Oh, wait, no, that's behind us. Are you serious? How heavy is that block compared to that big statue you lift up earlier? Can you hold the building? No problem. Donald, Goofy, we gotta do this quick. Are we gonna get a timed battle? Grand magic. As you use magic to inflict damage on enemies, a gauge above the command menu of field eventually produces a situation command called uh, for some magic at the higher tier. This is called grand magic. Does not require the MP to use. Uh, form changes. So they're back again. Just use the triangle. Uh, do that's a lot of stuff. This kind of reminds me of Dream Drop Distance menuing. So I guess I should read. Uh, you can cycle through these commands using the following actions: L2 to cycle through situation commands when they are displayed, and then the D-pads to cycle uh, through situation commands when they are displayed. Uh, normally at the bottom there. Control types can be changed by selecting config from the main. Alright, let's just spam water and see what happens. So there's like triangles just above our command menu at the moment. Right. Use that and then second form. Right, then use that. Goofy bombardment. Uh, bombardment. Bleh. They're really focusing on their commands in this um, game, that's for sure. I must spend it second form too. And I don't have any MP. Try to take out one of these and get some MP back. Alright, nearly there. So right, go into second form. Second form I think is going to be like... Okay, so as soon as I use um, stun impact, it looked like my second form ended. Sonic Blade. That might be handy. Yeah. 
Whoa. Alright, yeah, as soon as you use one of those attacks... Oh my god, I can't attack this thing. Alright, just take it down with that and use the um, Goofy's Bombardment again. Let's take these out. Might be able to get a Grand Magic back too. Right, second form again. Looks like that's our only form at the moment. Plus when we do a... Ooh, that finish is nice. So when you do finishes, you get all these fancy stuff. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, it definitely looks like this game is focusing on combos. I mean... Kingdom Hearts 2 kind of liked combos, but this definitely likes them. Okay, that was uh, Berserk or something like that, I think it was. I forgot the official name for it. Right, Flare Force, let's use that. What if we can actually control these two? So, like, we'll say we don't use uh, the goofy bombardment, but just have um, Donald's uh, Flash. Is it Flash Fair? Right, let's finish this off. Boom. Alright, well that's kind of cool. That was more like the showing how if, how much of a complete flashy combo is we do in this out. game. So I said okay. very flashy and all over the place. Are it's going to take me a little while to get used to, that's for sure. Go. Quickly. Well, that's bad. Although, he normally finds a way oh. out. Like that. Oh. 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 You scared us. It's nothing. That's what these are for. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, oh Organization 13 still around? No organization. <laughs> what You're the hell? Uh, all this altruism is giving me the warm and fuzzies. So then, does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? Just say what you mean. Oh, but I did though. No good will ever come from putting other people first. I was able to save Meg's life because I was ready to risk my own. Because you've got friends in high places, you mean. Tricks like that don't fly for your average Joe. What do you know? You weren't even there. If you were, you'd admire Herc's courage. I don't admire one guy leaping into danger if it means someone else might have to jump in to save him. You're all just lining up to lose out. That's kind of true, you actually. You to take the fall with you. Oh... And you can spare me the usual party line. Yes, hearts are powerful when they're connected. But if you put too much of that power in one place, some of those hearts might end up breaking. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined to yours. Why would I ever take advice from you? Because he is kind of saying the truth. <laughs> you don't have any choice but to follow this sweet little trail of breadcrumbs. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. You're so close. <laughs> Hearts breaking. Whose hearts? Ooh, the dark Sora, clouds for foreshadow. Let them bother you. I he can't remember the organization 13 was always philosophical when it came but to we'll like 
fighting against the heroes. That was the first time I pretty sh right. I said from memory that they've actually mm -hmm. said, oh, do you think enough. it's wise sending the weak ones in and then have someone else follow up to just chase after yeah. them in case they fall too? So, as I said, that guy was speaking the truth. It just makes me wonder why Sora didn't pick that up or if it's just denial because he's the bad guy and, you know, good guys have to denounce everything that they say. What reward? But they're definitely trying to push the narrative that Sora's definitely not the person he used to be. King Oyster Mushrooms. Alright, we're going to pick all these up. This is actually a really long level, but then again, it is being dragged out by the fact there's so many cutscenes, too. Oh boy! That's a big boy! Attractions. While engaging enemies, you may see a green circle. Alright, press the triangle command. Yeah, okay, we've just basically pressed triangle. He's got a lot of health, and I just went charging straight in there, as Zigbar just mentioned. Oh my god. Alright. Is there any flow motion around here that I can utilize? There kind of is. Whoa! I am nearly dead. Let's, that was close. I was gonna say, someone heal me please? Because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's use this. That's a... Uh, whoa! Okay, that's flashy. That wasn't... I just used that and didn't have a target. Oh wait, is this the attraction thing? No? Hey, there's second form. There's so many things going on that I can't keep track. I'm gonna lock onto you and use pirate ship. This is one of the attractions, I think. Okay, you can skip the sequence with square, that's nice. Am I actually attacking anything? I can't tell if I'm actually attacking anything. Let's just do a finisher. I don't actually think I'm actually... Oh, I am attacking it. So it was actually using a ranged attack at the same time. But a lot of Heartless went rip in the process. A couple of uh, flames there. So they did put a limit on how much MP... Oop, magic you can use in one hit. Okay, so you got a little bit... Whoa. Yeah, you can block that. Right, just get a fire on that. Got in the second form. Use the combo extension off of this. Okay, that was cool, whatever that was. Right, stun impact on. Oh, I wasn't close enough. I didn't realize that was a short ranged attack. Right, that's doing some damage. That's doing a lot of damage as a finisher, that's the question. It is. Alright, that's down. So I, I guess that might have been a mini boss. Oh, it looked like we could jump out of that too. Nice job, Wonder Boy. We checked the whole area. It looks like everyone's safe. That's great. We did what we could. You heroes have been busy little bees. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Uh, everything just went oh, dark. Look. Where is that More foreshadow trouble. that we had earlier? Not that foreshadow. I mean, yes, it's dark it's and it, there's shadows everywhere, but... Come on, we had the shadow of the rock titan earlier. Mm -hmm. Herc, let's go! Right. Go with Hercules to Mount Olympus. So, oh, okay, he's just... Oh, that's cool, because before... In the previous um, Kingdom Hearts, before you'd, like, switch someone out because you only have a party of three, but now they've got it, see, so they're just... tacked on. Hold on, Kingdom Hearts 2. I generally can't remember Kingdom Hearts 2, if that allowed the extra party slot, or if we you had to switch to them the there, too. And stop Hades. 
I guess we just run up here like we did at the very beginning. Whoa, that camera angle. It made it very cinematic at least. I really need to try and put like that air combo plus on. Or I can just ignore them. Right, up we go. These are new. And there's a lot of them. Yes, now we know why the river Oh come on, that was some lame dialogue. Right, they're kind of tanky at the, at the moment. I do have second form, so let's activate that. I can't see. Come on, lock on. I was just trying to see that if the game actually requires you to, like, to take these out to actually use combos. Kind of looks like it. I just used, like, water on a water monster. Good job, me. The only other thing I've got is... Fire. Actually, that reminds me of magnets. So that's what the um, wave motion would be as well, is using kind of like magnet. Alright, use this, bust through them for a ton of damage. I do like this though. And if you can get it just right, you can use a finish right there. And do no damage. I thought it might be like this grand quake where everything nearby gets hit, but not quite what I had in mind. Plus, I wasn't expecting Herc to throw me up either. I was like, all right, well, we're spinning around. He's probably going to do like, throw me at, uh, more like at the front of him and then do like a bigger tornado. So expectations were a little bit let down there. That's done. Do we actually get to proceed further now? I thought I saw a treasure chest there for a second. I could have been seeing things. I did... S no, that's... Down here? I'm pretty sure I could have been seeing things, but I just want to double check. Ah, I wasn't seeing things. A water cuff link, so that's probably going to be like an equipment that you can use to get resistance to water, I would say. Alright, now we go over here. Do we get to walk up anything or no? We... Alright, it don't get the option for everywhere, unfortunately. Then again, that'll kind of make exploring a little bit out of the question, I, I would reckon, if they did that. Alright, now we're on the way up. Big chest, open that. Something for... Okay, a map. Okay, they're back. Uh, thought so. What's this? Okay, more money. Right, there's going to be like enemies all over the place, so I'll try and skip these just so we can get to the point. As I said, I'd like to do at least um, the first... Oh, I was meant to jump, but I never did. At least the first part of this for like the first impression, and then that way... That gives us a bit of an idea on like how the game plays at least. Anything around here? No. Anything at all up here? I think this is where we're gonna go. Oh well, I'm just gonna take a leap of faith here, literally. I'm gonna take these guys down because they're really quick because they're just face heartless. Quick experience. And then get second form going as well, because these this will knock out these really quick. Right, flare force here. Didn't take up most okay, mad teacups. Right, how does this work? Whoa, this is madness. Is there anything left? Can I use this for like movement? Because it looks like I'm still going relatively quick. Do do. Okay, just use the finisher. I think I may just have led to a dead end. Potion. I came all the way up here for a potion. Oh, well, can I just jump down here and save me a little bit of exploring? I do like though how he starts going to a free fall when you do jump from a massive distance. And as I said, it's more realistic. Because you would not be, like, 
you know, just jump down and be like, ha ha. And then they land on, land on your feet like a cat. No, that's not how the real world works. So there seems to be a little bit of realism now in this game. So I know in like the previous games, you just fall flat on his feet. Alright, not... Get into second form here. Oh, okay, you do also get a little bit of a burst from changing too, so that's also good to know because you've got a lot of enemies around you, you can just kind of go into second form and just do a bit of burst damage. Ow. Whoops, actually, like, face people. I've got to keep that in mind, like, I can't just spam magic, I've got to... I say like, someone healed me. I was like trying to remember how you go. Oh, like that. It's like I want to kind of retain. I don't actually don't think I had second form still, but I wanted to use the pirate ship. Oh, well, whoops! I was meant to do that. I was meant to just attack, 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 and have the ranged attack going, and then use the finisher. Except I screwed up. Oh, can I? Oh, it's like why am I not attacking? Because I'm still on like a question mark in my command menu. Got to keep that in mind. There's a Mickey Mouse there. They're doing like what they do Looks in like the movies. They always the sneak in some gone. hidden little Mickeys. Like just there. That's kind of neat. I wonder how many more hidden Mickeys there are. Alright, so we have to come in close to the mountain now. A couple more. Um, parkour there. Where are we going from here? Up here? I'm going to skip all the battles again. So hopefully we are getting pretty close to the end. At the moment, this isn't as bad as Kingdom Hearts 2's tutorial, where that lasted at least two hours. I hope this doesn't last for two hours, because then it'll be the first two hours of impressions. But as a uh, Kingdom Hearts 2's tutorial, like kind of, it's like, ugh, just get into the game. I didn't really like it. This sure does feel awfully familiar. Yeah, just like before. Guys, this is getting worse by the minute. I hope I'm wrong, but my family may need me. Well, that's one way of dragging Hercules out of the picture. Just have him like, oh, my family needs me. Sora, I'm gonna fly ahead. You've been a big help, but leave the rest to me. Family? Yeah. Dad's king of the gods. Yeah. Well, at least I clarified that for those who never watched Hercules. I haven't watched Hercules for like 12 Father years. Is a god. But doesn't that mean Herc is a god too? Oh, I think it does. Now, why are you so strong? And a bit of history lesson there too, I guess. Then he'll be okay. Won't he? No, Organization 13's here. He'll need our help. Good point. We gotta go. Just completely ignore the fact that he's a god. Huh, that's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart. We fight with all our heart. <sighs> Come on! Mm -hmm. I still kind of... Another thing that's kind of irked me a little bit while I've been thinking about it is... The whole point to this, with Sora trying to remember, like, where he got his strength from... It kind of retch, uh, uh, retcons Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 a little bit. He already knew where power came from. So why is it all of a sudden he's forgotten? I know something happened where he, he was like taken over by darkness. But it's like he got taken over by darkness in Kingdom Hearts 1. What's the difference now? Like he literally was a heartless in Kingdom Hearts 1. So why all of a sudden the forgetting of... The heart and the fact that that's the um, source of all power. Also, this is kind of cool. Yeah, there's the rock tie, and I knew this little bugger was hanging around the corner there. I'm kind of glad we finally got to the point. Okay, I. Sw I really hope we can do that in game without it being like an actual rendered cutscene. 
because that would be bloody cool and I need to move my menu up to attack. Because that looks sick. And something that's, you know, really irked me in a lot of video games is you see all these awesome movement done in cutscene, but you can't do it in actual game. We should be at... a point in video game technology where we can do that. I think I was meant to kill this Heartless to get the attraction, I think. Alright, let's get some fire going. And my second form while I'm at it too. I don't think I have to kill these, like, I don't think it's, like, blocking... Oh, it might be. There's a lot of Heartless here and a lot of experience, so let's get rid of them. Oh, wait. That one. I always forget it's L2 to get to that one. Boom! I may as well use water here. That was like upgraded water, like what water I think that's how you pronounce it. Alright, is there any more left? There's quite a bit left. I've got no MP either, so let's just do some combos there. Actually, I might even just move on at this point. Just while my MP's recovering. Alright, so far the music's really suiting the atmosphere too, so that's good. In comes Big Border. Okay, you know how sad it is? I legitimately thought a quick time event was just about to happen there. I'm like, don't you dare be a quick time event, but I've got my hand on the controller just in case it is. Oh. Right, can we do some fancy movement here? No, I can't. I can't jump or anything. Still, this is kind of cool. Like, you running up the mountain, you can almost feel, like, the pressure there. Or facing down this massive beast while you're climbing up and dodging all these boulders. So I do like that. The cinematic effect was definitely there. Alright, time to smash into it. So we just attack its foot a couple of times and then it should fall over. Then we run up on its head. Oh, we just... Okay, they're trying to send us down the mountain again, so that's kind of cool. Alright, second form. Get the transform into that, and then just air combo, air combo. There's so much going on. What's attacking me? What if I should... No, I'll save stun impact for a finisher. As long as I stay on here. Whoa! Up I go. Alright, I'm seeing a stun impact. Not quite enough. Oh, target the other leg. Alright, that's fine. Alright, Goofy can bombard and offer damage there. Okay, that did a lot of damage. All right, smack, smack, smack. Damn, I still keep getting hit. Alright, water, water. Water should do well here, actually. And then use a water ardor. Alright, that's gone. Now it's just gonna attack the head. So it looks like it's fallen down, so it's like normally in the I was like normally in the past, like you go through and attack its head after attacking its feet. Right, when I finally come down. Second form. Wait for like stun impact to be quite low or it changes into like sonic impact. Right, then use this one. What was it? Mountain Mountain Coaster? Oh, I gotta shoot. Okay, this is kinda cool. Oh! Can I, oh, okay, so while I'm... Okay, I didn't realise you could also shoot. Right, shoot the hand. Alright, this will knock out that second last bar and then be on the final. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Either I wasn't paying attention, I was meant to shoot something, or that was just manually happened. Right, when we get a little bit closer, I'll use finisher. Get 
Got that. Let's go for the head again. Tell you what, definitely flashy, that's for sure. Right, we're nearly there. I don't want to end this. Oh, we're going to have to use it now. Because we're getting way too close. Oh, that took it out. Nice. I wonder how much damage that actually did. So I was like, I'll use it near the end just because it doesn't do an awful lot of damage. Or I miss. That's the Rock Titan down. So I wonder if we're going to take on that Ice Titan that we saw. Yes, that's one down. They're not yeah. so tough by themselves. Hmm. Okay, what's next? Uh. Okay. Maybe you do have to take on the Ice Titan. Alright, well, we got to take down one boss. So if another save point comes up, I might just leave it there because I was like, oh, it's, it's going longer than expected! I don't want to give away, like, the entirety of this level either. Alright, bust through here. Whoa, that's bright. Though, it's realistic in a way. Alright, I think that might do it. Area selection. Okay, cool, so that'd be like the walk. Move to another save point. Yep, thought so. I'm kind of glad we got that back. So I was like, did they get rid of that? I really like that feature. But anyways, that's going to be it for the impression anyway. So if I go any further, I think I might start to get a little bit spoily. So that, as I said, that should be decent looking to Kingdom Hearts and to what its mechanics are like and a couple of things. As I said, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is dialogue. There was, as I said, one voice line that had me a little bit curious if it was just me not hearing it right through my headphones or if that actually was the sound quality of the actual VA and I was like ooh that's a little bit iffy and even some of the dialogue lines are a little bit hit and miss sometimes too they're so far the only things I'm going to be heavily heavily criticizing so far is dialogue and sometimes a little bit of dialogue quality just just isn't there it just doesn't have the Kingdom Hearts quality that you hear in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 Ooh. I'm just really hoping it's just this early stage it's a little bit off while Sora's a little bit finding himself and it's not a thing that continues on throughout the rest of the game. Um, visually, it's great. Sounds great as well. Definitely focuses on combos as well. I knew Kingdom Hearts 2 was quite combo-y. You get some really fancy combos there. But oh lord, some of the combo opportunities you have in this game is unreal. It's just like, you got your normal combo extenders that the series is known for, then you mix it up with the, uh, what was it, the, the ride stuff, the ride thingy jiggies, and then like flow motion as well. There's probably some other stuff from like the other games now flying into this game as well. As I said, they probably were in the other uh, spin-off games, but I, because I haven't played them, I'm not familiar with them. So yeah, they're really like pushing you to go really creative with how you take on enemies and bosses and all that, which as it, it's welcomed. It's very overwhelming, that's for sure, for like new players of the series. So would I recommend this for new players of the series? Um I guess there are it, it's very open-ended as well, though. Unfortunately, though, if you are a new player to the series jumping in, it's like what the hell is going on? If you just play it for the game and kind of just go with the story and try and make sense of it as you go, then this should be a pretty fun game, hopefully. It's what I did with Kingdom Hearts 2, because as I said, I didn't do the spin-off games or anything like that. Jumped straight into Kingdom Hearts 2. Kind of didn't make sense, but you could still glue things together here and there for a bit of a plot. Game-wise, uh, Gameplay-wise, though, is what kind of stuck me, kept me stuck to the game. Um, See, so yeah, I would recommend it to beginners, just... As I said, the combos are quite overwhelming, but hopefully as you play on with the game, it's something that you do get used to. Um, anything else that I've mentioned that I notice? I don't think. I mean, in regards to like how the pacing of levels go, expect kind of like this type of pacing, except not tutorial-esque pacing, of course, where it's cutscene, 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 cutscene. You might get a little bit of like cutscene, a little bit of gameplay, cutscene here and there. Um, 
there are some parts of like Kingdom Hearts games where it is known for that, but it's also known for a game where it might do that at the beginning of a level, but then after that, it gives you the freedom to just go and play the game afterwards. So for pacing, expect that. But as I said, it will give you areas where you just play the game for a long time before you get interrupted again. So that's probably a good thing for this game. And other than that, I think that's just about it. So for those who have played Kingdom Hearts 3, I would like to hear what you guys think about the game in the comments section below. As I said, a um, couple of things if I got wrong, feel free to like fill me in there properly because this is kind of just me jumping in from Kingdom Hearts 2 to Kingdom Hearts 3. And as I said, I've got very little knowledge in between like uh, two and then three as well. So some of the mechanics as I said may have come from other games. So if you want to fill me in there, feel free to do. And then for in regards for like an in-depth review, um, when I do get a chance to play more of this game, I'll probably end up posting them over on my Twitter. So if you're not feeling following that, uh, make sure to do so. I think my Discord has an area for Kingdom Hearts discussion as well. So if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan and want a place to talk to other Kingdom Hearts fans, make sure to check out the Discord link in the description below if it's not working please let me know and I will try and fix that or lead you in the right direction and that'll do it for me overall thoughts yeah give it a try especially if you're a newbie to the game maybe you want to give that a go if you like Kingdom Hearts 3 it might be a great way to actually be an introduction and then go back and play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 or the uh what was it one point Whatever the one points are, they have all like the spin-off games in them and two. Alright, so until the next first impression, which I think at the top of my head will be another PlayStation game, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, and make sure to say beautiful. Ciao!